The shave with a new razor coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's partnerjorgetune.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks so much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate you sharing your time with me. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. We talk about all things traditional wet shave here. So make yourself at home, check out the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we're going to have a shave with a brand new razor. Purchase this from Amazon.com on the recommendation of a viewer named Brian Foley. Thank you very much, Brian, because this is one terrific little razor. This is the Facon razor, it rhymes with bacon. It comes with 50 blades. This is a really well-made razor in a gunmetal finish. It is twist to open. It is beautifully precise. The, the blade alignment and balance are very, very good on this. And you get a twist to open razor here, which is solidly built. And you also get 50 razor blades. 50 of their branded razor blades, the Faken razor blades. And that's all for under $18. That's about $16 and some odd cents. Uh, and I couldn't believe it. Very, very solid razor. Really, really nice heft. Like the design, like this knurling here on the collar and also right here at the end of the handle. Uh, the about the bottom three quarters of the handle turns and that's what gives you the opening action of the uh, the razor head and we're going to shave with this and i need to show you something about this before i shave with this but before i get to that we're going to be using atomic age bay rum shave soap i got some hot water on top of it going to use the brush scuttle from phoenix shaving going to use the cube 2.0 and going to finish it up with an allen block from phoenix shaving and also the uh, bay rum all around after shave splash and also the uh, bay rum uh, star jelly there after shave balm for upstairs okay now uh, <laughs> I had two shaves with this one with a super iridium razor blade which was wonderful and another with the Lord Platinum razor blade also really wonderful uh, shave when I first got this though I was a little bit unsure of it let me show you I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna take this shark super chrome blade because that's what we're going to use. We're going to use a, a shark super chrome blade for this shape. I want to try a lot of different razor blades with this razor. I will use the, the Faken razor blade down the road in another video. All right, but I'm going to use a uh, shark super chrome. Okay, so we've got that open and you just drop that in there like that and you close the doors. Now, just looking at that, wow, that looks... That looks pretty mean. That blade exposure is seems to be all wrong. Well, that's because it's not fully closed. What you need to do now is you need to give this handle another full turn. And now listen, just another full turn. Hear that? And snug it up. And what that does now is that actually aligns the blade where it should be to the proper level of aggression and also just secures everything and that's not going anywhere that's really solidly closed and there is the blade alignment and the balance so when you buy one of these you know really turn this all the way snug it up and then you'll be right on the mark for a shave and it is a mid aggression level the aggression level is midway let me put it that way it's a mid aggression uh, razor but it gives a very 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 close shave. I've done shaves with two passes and three passes. And really, for me, this is a two-pass razor. I could do a third pass with no problem at all. But we'll see how the Shark Super Chrome Blade does with that. Let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Going to use the uh, Cube 2.0 here with the uh, activated charcoal, menthol, CK6 to do a, a quick quick face washing. Kind of get my get the oil off of my face there and just kind of get everything prepped a little bit for the lather. And that's got it. 
Okay. A lot of rinsing there because washing my face, but now we're going to use this as a pre-shave soap. Just go against the grain, <clears throat> against the grain, sorry about that. A little frog in my throat. And here's the Atomic Age Bay Rum. I'm just going to dump that excess water in there. We're using the Phantom Aerolite Shaving Brush from Phoenix Shaving. This is one of the newer brushes I have in my collection from Phoenix Shaving. We're just going to go ahead and load this. This is Formula CK1. And that is a beautiful <laughs> Bay Rum scent. Wonderful. Really, really wonderful. So I'm going to get a good brush load here. And that, eh, a little more. That should have it right there. Okay. We're going to do a face lather. And I got my brush scuttle. So this lather and knot, brush knot will stay nice and warm. Love this brush. 26 millimeter knot, and it does a great job in doing a face lather. I'm going to put a little bit of water on there. Oh man, I need a little more water. Oh, that's great. That's marvelous. <laughs> I know, you know what's coming. Boom! Lather! There it is! Wow! Oh, <laughs> man! I, I just, you know, I, I love these Phoenix Shaving Shave Soaps. I really do. I really, I just enjoy them so much. CK1 is no slouch. The original Crown King formula. It is terrific. Okay, that's got it. That's... Got it. Okay, into my brush color right there, so it stays nice and warm. Okay, everything is snugged up. Everything is balanced and aligned nicely. Gonna run this under some hot, hot, hot water. A little bit of a swirl. All right, here we go. Thirty degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is really nice and smooth. A really good blade choice for this razor. This razor is really wonderfully smooth and efficient. I was really, really surprised. Once I understood that this had to be tightened up and fully clothed, fully clothed, <laughs> fully closed. Wow. Oh, that's terrific. Good heft. All you need is a light touch with this razor, really. It's a two-pass razor for me, really. For the most part, two passes, and I'm good. Now, the uh, profile of the uh, twist open razor head is rather slim, so it does a nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting those little bits on the uh, north to south pass. I was very, very surprised. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. I'm just putting one splash on there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's why I try to rinse a little more. <laughs> Not a very good look when I come back up. Well, anyhow, um, that is, I would say that's a socially acceptable shave right there. That's really a good socially acceptable shave. A second pass will probably clean it up even more. One minute, please. Just a little bit in my eye there. Uh, yeah, good socially acceptable shave for me right there. Not bad at all. 
uh, definitely need a second pass, but if I had to go to the office, I could do it. So let's go ahead and uh, lather up for pass number two. And oh, this is so warm. This is so nice and warm from that brush call. Really, really terrific. Wow. I think that's one of my new favorite things is the brush skill from Phoenix Shaving. I really, really like that. I, I, you, if you've been on this channel for a while, you know I love to do the face lather. So that brush scuttle is just perfect for my routine. Now I like the I like scuttles, but boy, oh boy, this brush scuttle is just something extra special. I'm just gonna put a little more water there. Yeah, good flow through with this. Uh, Phantom Aerolite. Really, really nice flow through. Okay. Got another great lather. Really, really terrific. All right. So I'm going to throw a little more heat on this razor. Just because I can. <laughs> All right. We're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grade. Nice blade feel in a good way. Right around that chin, no problem whatsoever. Really very, very efficient razor. And throughout the shade, this is the nice thing, this is solid. Even though the lower three-quarter, three-quarters of the handle turns and opens these doors, because I snug it up, boy, that stays really locked and in place. Whereas there have been a few other um, uh, razors that uh, where the whole handle turns and opens up that mechanism, and that can loosen up a little bit. This one, no. No, it just, even though it's three-quarters of the handle, that stays really, really firm and secure. I like that a lot. Okay, again, nice and maneuverable, does a nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting those little bits there. And I uh, may have forgot, I, I probably did not mention, I forgot to mention, the end tabs of the blade are enclosed in the razor head. Really nice touch. So getting up underneath there in those tight areas, you're not going to have to worry about a blade tab, uh, you know, accidentally nicking or something like that. Second pass done, let's rinse. You know what? I would say I'm done. This is a good, this is a good shave. But you know what? We're going to do a third pass, real quick third pass, nice and light. I'm done, but I just want to show you I can do a third pass with this razor. It is a, I guess people have described it as a mid-level aggression razor. Uh, you know what? Your miles is going to vary. I think if you have a little more demanding beard, this might be a good fit for you. Uh, if you like mild razors. You're probably going to be done maybe in two passes. This is kind of where I'm at, two or three passes. I'm going to do a third, a light third pass because I love <laughs> doing a third pass. And I love this razor handle. I love the shape of this and how it fits in my hand, especially on this third pass. I love this action, this motion. So we're going to go with the third pass. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Nice and light. Very nice and light. Oh, that's wonderful.
It does a real nice job on the chin area. Really, really terrific. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I'm done. That's really, really terrific. That's a nice close shave. It's smooth. It's close. It's comfortable. All right, two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Yeah, a lot of rinsing. A lot of rinsing because there was a lot of slickness on my skin that had to be removed. Really terrific, terrific shaving soap from Phoenix Shaving. CK1 formula is really, really wonderful. Okay, I'm on the cold water side. Here's my cold water rinse. Gonna get a little kick from the menthol. Cold water rinse. Ah, <laughs> nice. That was really, really wonderful. Clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh man, that that's a that's a nice that's a nice close shave. That is really, really <laughs> very, very nice. We're gonna get uh, some feedback from uh, the Elm Block here. This is the no slip grip dry dock system from Phoenix Shaving. So let's run under some under some cold water and see if there's any stinging, any zinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. Very smooth, I would say, a couple of little zings, but nothing to write home to. Uh, could also be some of the bracing from the, from the Allen block, because it does have astringent qualities, but, you know, it's doing its job, really. I mean, it does a great job of knocking down irritation, that sort of thing. I use it after every shave. I like using the Allen block. All right. Dry dock system, it goes right in there like that. Let the air in the room do its thing. This was uh, this was great. Of course, you know the brush. The brush is going to clean up really, really well and very, very easily. Amber Aerolite did a great job. But this razor, this is one I want to talk about. This razor really did a nice job. It gave me a really close, close, comfortable shave. Now, there was some blade feel there, too. A little more than some of the other milder razors I have, but a good blade feel in a good way, and then it still delivered a nice, smooth shave. So I would say that its description of being mid-aggression is probably uh, on the money. So if you're looking for something extremely mild in the uh, category of, say, an HD34C, this is not it. This is going to have a little middle or uh, growl to it. <laughs> and uh, as uh, Jason O'Brien says, hi, Jason, another viewer, that's his expression. It's got a little growl to it, and I think that's a real good way of putting that. Uh, but it is smooth, it is close, and it is comfortable. I had three different shades with it now. The Shark Super Chrome, the... Lord Platinum and the uh, Super Iridium. I think the Super Iridium probably gave me the most comfortable uh, shave of those three blades. Lord Platinum and uh, Shark are probably neck and neck for second place. But uh, this razor did a nice, nice job. Again, love the gunmetal plating and I, I love the heft. I love the shape of the handle and I love how it is so secure so securely closed throughout the entire shape. Let's get a little bit of uh, bay rum on the skin. A little bit of bay rum aftershave splash. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That restrictor. A little, little slower than the others. That's a plastic restrictor or reducer, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to get a little more here. Yeah, that's good. It's got a good... Oh, that's great. That's terrific. Okay, put that over there. And then, uh, yeah, I'm splashing up over here. i got to wipe off <laughs> the bottles of I'm using them here. Uh, okay, a little bit of the star jelly for upstairs. All right, that's the Tonic Age Bay Rum star jelly. Probably going to need a head shave here in another day or so. Maybe later on. Maybe after this. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Great shave. Really, really terrific shave. Again, this razor really, really delivered. I like the 
gunmetal plating, top notch. I like the heft. I like the design of the handle. Uh, really nice streamlined kind of look to it. A really slim profile twist open razor head. Has a nice approach to the shave. It is mid-aggression, but boy, it gave me a really, really good shave, even with three passes. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really close. And you know what? I'm probably on my way to a BBS shave with this. Again, the Super Iridium blades in this razor probably gave me the best shave of those three blades that I've used. Lord Platinum was good. This is good too. But the Super Iridium blade, it's really becoming a, quickly a favorite of mine. It just uh, did a terrific job. I was done after two passes. Third pass for the sheer enjoyment of it. And it did not irritate my skin. I didn't nick myself. So I, I think that speaks highly to... Um, the closeness and reliability of the shave of this razor. Uh, sure, third pass, lighten up on the touch and just, you know, nice light touch, but it's the name of the game. Light touch, 30 degrees, light touch, let the razor do all the work. And this razor certainly did do all the work. So that's it. The Facon razor, F-A-C-O-N, rhymes with bacon. That's what they told me. And it's available uh, at Amazon.com. Check out their product page. You get 50 blades. And I think it has a lifetime guarantee if you go to, through the extra steps, whatever those are, I have not done those, they will send you an extra 50 blades. So that's quite a deal. And uh, down the road here, here they are right here, and a little bit of water on it. And it comes in this package, the razor and the blades. And down the road, we'll be doing a, a shave with this blade in this razor. Just wanted to show you a different brand of razor blade with this razor just to kind of uh, kick things off but uh like it a lot my thanks to brian foley uh for recommending this razor he has one he described it as mid aggression and he enjoys using it so thanks very much brian really do appreciate it okay that's it thanks very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it please share please subscribe please like hit that bell so to give you a yell the next time i upload a video Comment below, let me know. Check out the executive shaving company, use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog, for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marks ready where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize. You can find everything in a snap very easily, including the fake and laser. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.